100%. You can't please everyone. And uh, speaking of COVID-19, we'll move on to our next story where the CEO of Dubai Airports predicts that COVID-19 testing will soon become history. And boy, how we are rooting for that. Now, in an interview on CNN's Middle East program with Richard Quest, the chief executive of the Dubai Airports, Paul Griffiths, predicted that he believes that COVID-19 testing regime will soon become history. And when that happens, and quote, there will be a strong recovery and we need governments to stop interfering with the common sense health regulations that are now emerging in wake of the response to the new and the latest COVID-19 strains, virus strains. And adding that we've got to live with it and we've got to be able to travel as part of the normalization of the approach to the virus in the future. Now, that's when people get their lives back and that's when things will become mobile again. Now, just on another note, not another note, same note actually, (laughs) just last week, Airline Industry Body International Air Transport Association, IATA, said it was now time for the UK to remove testing requirements entirely for vaccinated people. Wow, it's a big call. That is a big call, and I, but I strong personally, I feel very strongly, um, like I strongly support this because until and unless we kind of, we are in the third year of the pandemic, right? So and if we don't evolve with our um, restrictions, there is no way the econ- uh, economy and just yeah, the economy can bounce back. It, the restrictions will just hold it. Yeah, it's, it's interesting with testing though, because um, for example, in the UAE in general, the testing structure and procedure has been so seamless so and the only way to curb the spread we've looked at in the last let's say year or two is to uh for continuous testing and therefore if you find out you're positive then you isolate but everyone else can continue to live their normal lives yeah and you're saving the couple of people so um we are so super lucky in the uae that we have that seamless process but they don't have that in other countries so therefore it might be easier to because if you are for example i know in ireland people were testing and they weren't getting results for 10 days or x number of days i over exaggerated but they weren't getting results for a number of days and therefore uh have you been isolating that time uh and then you find out you're negative like it's a whole mess but the fact that you're able to get your results in 12 to 24 hours makes the whole process easier so um Do I want to go immediately back to normal? Yes. Uh, are we ready yet? I don't know. I trust yeah. the powers that be <laughs> to let me know. But I feel what he said about the government's like just needing to stop interfering with so many regulations. I think somewhere there, there is truth to it. Because It's so hard though. Like who is right or who's wrong? Which uh, no country people yeah. everyone will have complaints about how the pandemic was handled in every country yeah. and i say we here we are 100 the lucky ones um but like in every other country like there's always complaints so uh which points do they stop meddling in you know yeah, and which true. points over the last year yeah I, i think it's i think it's very very tricky to call. i think just an overall um oversee of the hygiene levels and everything is just You know, like people are wearing gloves, masks, like introduce those extra precautionary measures in that sense. You know, meddling. so there's, yeah, meddling. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so there's like, like as less contact as possible. But of course, you, there are so many um, de- developing countries that won't be able to implement those kind of regulations where it's like contactless completely. So, you, yeah. You it, can't please everyone. Um, guys, stay tuned. Instagram. You've already seen the show. Uh, Facebook, stay tuned. After the break, we're going to be joined by the UE's number one illusionist and magician. He's here to dish out some tricks. It's Moen Albastaki. We're super excited for it. He'll be with you right after this. Bye.